Hi, my name is Mai, and today I'm going to show you how to keep your cleaning experience as seamless as possible with the new Shark AI Robot Self Empty XL. This is Shark's smartest self empty robot that has the cleaning power to clean your whole home and the intelligence to deep clean targeted areas. Plus, it pairs with the easy to use Shark Clean app. Here are a few tips to keep your AI robot cleaning at its best. First, let's talk about the self-empty base, one of my favorite features. Each time your robot docks, it will automatically evacuate its own dustbin into the base. Essentially, this self-empty base vacuums the debris out of your robot vacuum, so you don't need to touch the dust cup for up to 60 days. How great is that? When it's emptying, you'll hear a brief suction noise and the evacuation icon on the top of the base will illuminate. To know when it's time to empty your self-empty base is dustbin, simply look into the fill window and see if the debris is near the max fill line. To empty, press the dustbin release button at the top of the base and then slide the dust cup out. Then over a trash can, press the release button on the bottom of the bin. Now the lid will open and the debris will fall into the trash can below. Give it a few light taps on the side of your trash can to loosen any remaining debris, then close the lid. To reinstall, just slide the dustbin back back into the side of the self-empty base until it clicks into place. Your self-empty base will now be up for even more cleaning tasks for up to 60 days. Once a month, it is recommended to clean your pre-motor filters found inside your self-empty base. This keeps your self-empty base clean and its evacuation power at optimal levels. First, you'll want to open the filter housing lid that's found on the top left of the base. Once the lid's open, remove the foam filter by its top handle and lift out the felt filter found underneath too. Lightly tap the filters over the trash can, then rinse with cold water only. Using any soap or cleaning solution may cause damage. Let both filters air dry completely before reinstalling by inserting the felt filter first, followed by the foam filter. Now, moving on to your robot's brush roll found underneath the robot. The self-cleaning brush roll is designed to automatically remove hair and debris while it cleans. If you notice hair and debris starting to build up, allow the robot to continue running, giving the brush roll time to clean itself. If you find some debris remain after you continue to use it, you can manually remove the brush roll. First, you will need to push the tabs on the brush roll door, then lift off the door. You can now remove the brush roll and clean off any remaining debris. Once you're done, reinsert the flat end first and close the brush roll door until it clicks into place. You're now ready to keep cleaning. While this robot has a self-empty base, your robot's dustbin may require some maintenance over time. If you receive an error notification, remove the robot's dustbin from the back of the robot, open it, clear any debris that may be clogging the opening. Once cleared, reinsert the dustbin into the back of the robot until it clicks into place. If you continue to receive an error notification with the robot's dust cup, we recommend you turn on evacuate and resume through the Shark Clean app. Evac and resume helps minimize any pet hair from clogging the dust cup. After 30 minutes, your robot will return to the self-empty base, evacuate its dust cup automatically, and continue cleaning until the job is done. With the AI robot self-empty, Shark uses next generation intelligence to give you a truly smarter way to clean. Now you can really forget about vacuuming and just enjoy more time in a clean home. For more cleaning tips and tricks, visit us over at sharkclean.com.